Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today in the channel, we'll be looking at the final figure of Wave 12 of the Masterverse line. And that of New Attorney of Triclops. We'll take a look at him in the packaging. We'll look at all his items we can see. Uh, we'll look at the beautiful artwork he comes with right, in, in the packaging. We will do a soft opening, a semi-opening. We'll remove him from the packaging. So we can take a much closer look at the figure. Uh, we'll also look at the items he comes with. Okay, guys, right. and I also brought out every version of Triclops in my collection for this review, guys. And we'll show you right here. Starting off with, I have, which we've seen, you know, a few, you know, a few times, my Funko Pop Triclops, right here. For the first time ever, you're seeing the Brett the Hitman Heart version of Triclops from the Masters of WB Universe. Uh, review will be coming very soon. All right, but there he is. This is, you know. Um, the Triclops version of the crossover event from the Masters of the WWE Universe. Show you some beautiful artwork right there. There he is. So this is their version of Triclops right there. That you can move the visor around like Triclops, which is pretty cool. To my vintage one right there of Triclops, my 80s version right there. Just my 80s version. Of course, to the CGI version right there. To my deluxe version, his Colt version, and I do have in box, uh, his normal uh, version right there, and there is the version right there we'll be opening today. And then my, of course, my other two versions of Triclops, the fan voted winner right there, the exclusive mini comic book one, and of course my original Origins version right there. And of course, uh, I do believe that Triclops is a fan favorite uh, figure. Will be coming very soon. A, a reissue. Coming very soon, and I do believe there have been uh, some image shots of the cartoon collection version of Triclops uh, coming very soon. So Triclops is, is uh, you know, doing pretty well for himself, right there. All right, well, let's take a look at the new Eternia version of Triclops from Wave Twelve. Get a little closer look right there, and there he is right there. You have the thirty points of reticulation right there, and the updated Masterverse logo right there there's the figure himself right there it's really really good with his vintage uh, sword right there there's a nice glamour shot of the figure and it has this same type of like crystals or you know beads around him like the mini comic book version right there you can see got some orcs right there and then you have the new Attorney a logo. Alright. Put it around to the side. A nice glamour shot of him once again. Beautiful artwork as always. The figure. Alright. There's a nice glamour shot as well as the actual figure. And some beautiful artwork in the background right there. It looks like he comes with another sword. Looks really cool. There's his, his uh he has a try his um Visor right there. It looks like you can host her two swords now. It looks pretty cool. I will pause that and roll out right there if you wish to read that real fast. All right. And of course, there's the cross side of the other uh, figures in Wave 12. And we looked at each and every one of them, including 1 through 11 waves as well. For anybody who's new to the channel, like to come back and check those out, please do. And thank you for doing that. All right. And you have New Attorney of Skeletor and Beast Man. It's really, really good. Some more uh, orcs right there. All right. All right, guys. Give me a second here. We will go ahead and box him. There. Boom. Alright. Here we go. So if you're so all the new for anybody who's new, you know, all the new items are in this little slot right here in the packaging. Alright, let's go ahead and move these out real fast. Alright. Alright, there's the eyes right there. Of course, let's look at the figure himself. You want to pull him out. Wow, looks really good. 
Really, really good, guys. All right. Get my, get my scissors out here, guys, real fast. And cut open the uh, the bag here. So we got here. Okay. We well, you know we got a few things. We have a beautiful sword right there. There's like an eye right there in the center of the blade. You can see that. Really nice. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, okay, his, I guess his, his belt or his harness we can put around him to poster both, um, oh, okay, it's his, it's, it's his, um, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> it's his, um, like his mini comic book, uh, ho uh shoulder, uh, sash right there, a different visor, okay, so there's quite, you know, you can change out the visor, I guess, all right. Right. It was almost like almost like a ring almost. You can it almost fits like a ring almost on your finger. And what else we got here? And of course, a couple pair of fists right there. Come with you know good old tricops right there. You the fist of fury right there. All right, looks really really good. And that's about it. All right. All right. On to the to the to the figure himself. And I gotta say, I love the detail of the visor. You can see, like, it looks like almost like dragon scales. I, you know, I'll, if I can turn the light on, I hope that helps. It's a little bright there, guys. Hang on, sorry about that. Well, maybe, maybe I can just aim it down somewhat. Yeah, it's too bright, guys. I apologize for that. Trying to focus here, guys. And I apologize. I think we're good now, guys. But you know, I would do my best to try to, to adjust the the camera to focus. Um, it's having a hard time focus on my on the figure itself. But he looks really good, guys. I think we're good now, I think. All right, sorry about that, guys. But you can see the detail on the scale. Like, this looks like dragon scale. There are bumps around the visor right there. The sword looks amazing. Looks really good. All right. There's the back of him right there. Really good, guys. I really like the look of him. He's got that. You can see right there. You know, between the 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 new new uh, attorney version right there to his more modern look right there. Of course, he's got two different swords now. He's, you know, with the original one, he has the orange version right there. So with his green version right there. I also like the fact that, you know, I don't know if this, if it, if this is a ring. I don't think so. I think it's a, I don't know. And the reason why I keep saying ring here, guys, I don't know, is because when I look at the, the fan voted winner, uh, you know, it came with a really cool ring right there. And it's like almost like, you know, with the new, like with the new mini comic book version right there, you know, of the Origins version. And I see this, you know, you could, and I see this, I'm thinking ring, you know, I, I don't think it is, you know, but it'll be kind of cool if they did include a ring with this version of Triclops here. Um... Let's get the figure closer back here. Nice side shot right there. 
Alright. And the other side as well. Looks really good. I cannot wait to get a second version of this so I can do a full unboxing. Alright. So what do you think about, you know, new new Eternia uh, version of Triclops here? And like I said before in, in, in previous reviews, guys, like, for me personally, the new Eternia line has been knocking it out of the park. I really like their look of their figures. All right. All right. So there you go, guys. There's a look at the new Eternia version of Triclops. All right. If you're a big fan of Triclops, you know, of course, he is a must-have for any collector. All right. So you give me one second, guys. I'm going to put him back in the packaging. Hang on, guys. All right, guys. We're back to moving now. A amazing figure absolutely amazing you know of course he is, he is my favorite figure of all time um put him right there but it looks really good i love the look of the visor the figure looks amazing the different type of trunks as well with more spikes on it around the trunks than the vintage uh deluxe version of him a different belt, I even like the green too. The different, you know, there's different shades of gray, uh, green on the figure here. It looks really good. And like I said, also too, you know, Triclops is, is you know, I believe it's going to come in, the, in that fan favorite voting uh, figure, like a reissue of Triclops coming very soon uh, to the collection, guys, um, to the cartoon collection as well. All right. I'm kind of curious if he's going to get a, a Turtles with Grey Skull, you know, crossover uh, uh, um, figure as well. I mean, pretty cool. So all in all, an amazing figure. And like, in, like I said, with the fan voted or fan favorite line, I do hope we get you know this version again of Triclops for for all of us who got one but want a, like a second one to open up in their collection because I would love to get a a a another version of this Triclops here. Uh, for my loose collection, I only have the one right now. I was I was very lucky to get this one. Um, um, I had to. I think I I barely made it when they when they sold at Mattel Creations. Um, I think I I got one. I went for two, and they said it sold out. So I was very very lucky to get this version of Triclops. And that's what I'm saying about the fan favorite line. Um, you know, give us figures that we've missed out on for us collectors. Uh, maybe we only have one of, or didn't get a chance to get. And so, like, all the exclusives, like this Triclops here, you know, I hope we do get a second chance of getting this figure here. Um, like, you know, so I hope that's, you know, hope we can, hope Mattel will give us that chance right there. But there you guys. There's all my versions of Triclops here, including the new Eternia Wave 12 version. And like I say, you know, if we had to do a ranking right now, you know, for all the versions right now. All right, you know what? Hang on, guys. All right, guys. I was going to do this, but I'm going to rank my, you know, all four versions of uh, all four figures of Wave 12 of the Masters line. Starting from my least favorite to my favorite. Okay, starting with my least favorite. Uh, as you know, uh, my least favorite was Keldor. Uh, very, you know, a great figure. I love the soft good cape and looks amazing. But the fact that he only comes with, you know, and mine, strangely enough, came with Mecha Nex extra um, neck extension and hands and shield, and not the actual hand. He only comes with hands only, okay? So that's only, you know, if he was, you know, if the items were correct, you know, that's it. You know, it's almost the same exact head sculpt, you know. I mean, that's kind of a letdown for me. I was hoping to get like a like something cool, like a like a like a, a gun. Uh, a sword, a shield, uh, something with him. Um, so he's my least favorite figure in this wave right here. Uh, the next one is Battle Armored He-Man. Uh, he looks amazing. He looks, you know, I love the the axe. Look, uh, I'm very cool axe. I love the detail of the axe. Uh, the face sculpt still for me is kind of weird for me, um, but you know he's still a, an amazing character. 
Um, I do prefer the new Eternia version of Battle Armor He-Man, all right, in the collection, uh, but still a solid figure. So he's my next uh, uh, favorite figure. Uh, the second one, of course, is Mechanek, right there. Looks absolutely amazing. A solid character, a nice heavy. Uh, I love the fact that, you know, uh, the look of him looks amazing. I love the fact that you can, you know, with the with his uh, club right there, you can extend it and make it long, bigger, like the neck right there. And I guess the fact that, you know, with, you know, King Keldor's, you know, goof up items, I can make the neck even bigger. So that's a plus right there. So that's my my, my second favorite. And of course, my my number one favorite figure of this, you know, no no surprise here, guys, because he is my overall number one figure of all time in the Master Universe is new attorney of triclops guys i like the fact that you can you know give him that mini comic book kind of feel and look to him or give him that vintage style as well um i love the fact that he gets two swords um in this particular uh figure here i love the fact that you know the detail in the in the in the visor looks amazing i'm very curious once i get a second version of him we'll do a full unboxing that if you can remove this uh, uh, visor off to put that secondary visor down. So I'll be, be very interested in seeing that, guys. All right. So there you go, guys. So my least favorite to my favorite, Keldor, Battle Worm He-Man, Mechanek, and Triclops. All right. And if you guys have this set here, guys, in the message line, let me know you're in the comments below. Uh, what is your overall favorite figure or least favorite to your favorite figure in this line? All right. So get these guys out of the way real fast. All right. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time now to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and have not subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys. All things Masters of the Universe like the Masters line here, to the Origins line, okay, to the CGI line, right there, to even the, the Masters of the WWE Universe, right there, to Funko Pops, all right, I'll hit that like button, and thank you for doing that, guys, it means so much, you know, to the channel, and, and thank you so much, it helps my channel to get out there, to grow, and hopefully for more people who love Masters Universe, uh, you know, collecting as much as we do to watch the videos and hopefully subscribe to and like as well. So thank you for doing that. And hit that notification bell when you know I'll upload new videos. And tomorrow, like I promised, we're heading back to the Origins line to finish up the iconic vehicles that have come out so far in Origins. We'll look at Stridor, okay, in the packaging. I do have a loose version of him. I also have a modern, uh, uh, customized version of uh, Stridor as Night Stalker, okay, as a, you know, a very cool Night Stalker I have, uh, a very unique Night Stalker, all right, in the Orchids line, okay, so stay tuned for that, uh, of course, share this video, who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe, quick to be over 40 plus years of this amazing product, okay, from the 80s version here, all right, to the Masterverse line, to the Origins line here, which could be the Vintage Origins line, to the, you know, Mattel Creations exclusives, to the Cartoon Collection, to the Turtles of Skull, to even the WWE Universe crossover, to Funko Pops, all right, to Classics line, to the Super 7, you know, to the 2000X, to New Adventures, all right, all right, so, so many amazing, amazing lines, guys, of this incredible product, guys, all right. So, guys, I hope you guys have a great Monday, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Take care, guys, and have a good one.